Hey guys, today we are joined by Jacques van Jarsveld. He is a drama teacher and a professional mime. So if you've ever wondered how to become a mime, this one's for you. Hi there, my name is Jacques van Jarsveld. I'm a mime artist and the owner of a drama school in South Africa. And Jacques, why did you choose miming? Out of all the careers you could have had, why miming? I never knew what miming was. Um, I studied drama and acting at the Twani University of Technology in South Africa. And uh, part of the syllabus was miming and physical theater. I also went to a festival in Grahamstown in my second year, where I saw a person called Andrew Butlin performing in this beautiful, amazing show called The Ugly Nunu. And that was the first time that I saw a mime artist performing. I actually just fell in love with it immediately and I was very fortunate in our second year. Part of the syllabus was mime and physical theater and I just latched onto that and uh, yeah, what can I say? I, I made a living from being a mime artist. So with being a mime, what are some of the challenges that you face on a day-to-day -day basis and what are some of the good things about being a mime? I think the biggest challenge for me as a mime artist is when you're busking and you're performing right in front of an audience member, they usually want to get you to talk. They, they can't understand that you're not communicating with them using your words. Also, it's quite challenging in South Africa to, to work as a mime artist because I don't think people really understand the art form. And then again, as you get older, your body starts not moving as well as it used to. So that could also be a challenge as you're getting older to keep the body going and the muscles working. Yeah, I can imagine that'd be pretty frustrating. So with being a mime, what are some of the opportunities that you've managed to get? I mean, obviously you say that it's really, you know, a good, a good thing to do in South Africa because there's not many mime artists around. Have you been able to travel with that as a career? Being a mime artist in South Africa, it opened a lot of doors for me. And also being a physical performer, I got the opportunity to do a lot of character work. And obviously also travel all over South Africa. I was very fortunate to attend a workshop in the London School Physical Theatre. I also went to Angola with some friends of mine to perform over there. And uh, one of the characters that I currently am working on at the moment as well is Barney the Dinosaur. I'm qualified to perform in the official suit for any live event of Barney in, in Africa. Um, that has taken me to London to do some training and rehearsals. So that's also lots of fun. I just love getting onto the stage and seeing the kids' faces and how it just lights up when they see the purple dinosaur dancing and entertaining them. That's brilliant. And you don't only do mime, you're obviously a teacher as well, and you have a performance arts show. Um, do you still perform on stage doing physical theatre and your one man show? Yes, Nick, I do teach drama and that takes up a lot of my time. I must be honest, I really enjoy working with the kids and seeing how they grow and develop through drama. I'm quite selective at the moment with uh, performances because the, the teaching takes up a lot of my time. I was very fortunate to do a one-on-one -on -one theater piece two years ago. This was phenomenal. If you are a performer and you get the chance to do something like this, it will blow your mind. It's one-on-one -on -one theater where you as the performer perform for one audience member. It is also site specific. So let's say you're performing in a hotel room. That hotel room must be part of your performance. It must enhance the performance. It is quite amazing because now you as the performer cannot hide and the audience member also can't hide. It's one on one where they see you very close. The show was about 20 minutes long and on weekends we would perform the show nine times. So you'd perform, have 10 minutes for a break and reset your space for the next audience member to come and see what you, your show is all about. So Jacques, with you being a drama teacher, if somebody was wanting to pursue mimicry or performance arts in general as a career, what advice would you give them? What career path would they follow in order to do that as a job? Well, Nick, that's a very good question. In South Africa, things work a little bit differently to other places, I think. The best advice I could give is 
that you should go and study at a drama school or a university and get a degree or, or a diploma behind your name. In South Africa, the agents won't really look at you if you don't have a bit of background from studying or a degree or a diploma. You need an agent to look at the contracts and also let you know where the additions are and, and what people are looking for. So that's the best advice I could give is to, to go and study and then, and also open yourself and, and go and see as many shows as you can. See what's happening around you in the theatre world as well as on TV and in movies and see what it's all about. That's the only advice I could give at this point. So Jacques, do you have any funny stories that you could tell us about being a mime in the past? I know you said that people like to try and talk to you while you're working and obviously that goes against everything that you're trying to do. Do you have any fun stories about your travels or, um, you know, just work in general? <laughs> the one I can think of right now is I did a lot of mime work at Monte Cassino. And one night there was a, a gentleman and a lady standing waiting. They were waiting for different people, but I went up to them and, and interacted to them in a mime way and uh, introduced them to each other. And it was amazing a few years later when I was at Monte Cassino again, the lady and the gentleman came up to me and they actually thanked me. They actually got married and I introduced them that night to each other at Monte Cassino. So I think that was quite a special story and something that sticks to my mind. That's awesome, Jacques. Thank you so much for joining us and for sharing mimicry with us. Um, I know for myself, I didn't know that you could have so many different career paths with regards to that and I'm really thankful that you came on and explained to us how somebody can get into the performance arts route as a career so thank you. No thank you Nick it was really nice chatting to you and catching up with you again have fun down under bye